Okay, guys, uh, before you start taking apart your tablet and start trying to unplug things, the first thing you want to do, if your tablet has not, is not responding, and maybe it looks like the backlight is on, but there's nothing else on, this has happened to me a number of times with a few different types of tablets. What the first thing you need to do is hold down the power button for like 30 to 60 seconds. I know you probably held it down for 5, 10, maybe even 15 seconds, but go for the full 30 to 60 seconds to hold it down and oftentimes you will if the back screen is just lit and so nothing else is really working if you hold it down that long you'll turn the tablet off and then you can hold it down a normal amount of time and you'll turn it on sometimes the tablet is just get stuck in some kind of little funky mode like that almost like a half booted half unbooted mode or something but anyway you definitely try that first hold it down for 30 to 60 seconds and most of the time that would take care of your problem the rest of this video is for people who that doesn't take care of your problem you want to go a little bit further okay uh right here i have the nexus 7 2013 and i'll try to make it quick what is happening is it's not turning on now the thing's been charged up it's been on the charger for hours. I felt it, it was warm to the touch and for a second I did, I, I was able to get it to come on for a second and I was, I seen that the battery had like 97, 98% and I still was not able to get it to come on and stay on. The screen came on for a second, but I couldn't unlock it. Went right back off after 10 seconds. And right now, like I said, it, it has power. I can hold down this button all I want. I tried to get into the bootloader, hold down volume down, then power, volume up, then power, hit both, then power, or any combination of the both. As you can hear, when I go volume up, at least sometimes, sometimes when I go volume up, there we go, it's giving me that indication that it's at max, max volume. So that's kind of letting me know that the operating system is kind of there but it's just not responsive like it needs to be. And clearly this is not what it's supposed to do when you press the button. And I'm gonna try to figure this out. My first plan was, hey, just let this thing die. Let the battery go all the way dead, then plug it up and try to start it and see what we get. I'm pretty sure whatever hang up it's having from a software standpoint, if the battery was completely, if power was completely killed, that would take care of it. Since this thing has so much power and is basically in standby, it will probably take about a week to die. And my son would not be happy waiting a week for me to even try to get this thing going. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and get this thing open, unhook the battery, hook it back up. And, and I think that'll solve the problem. That's, that's my plan. Okay. So, if I, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera and I'm gonna figure out how to get this thing open. I've noticed there's not a single screw to be seen on here, nowhere. So there's only one or two ways this thing's being held together. Maybe it's just snapped into some pieces and I can just pry it back. I've got a number of tools here. Got the uh, Isesimo. Couple other pry tools and stuff. So I'm used to maybe try to pry it open. It could maybe be glued on. I hope that's not the case. I have no idea. So let me go ahead and get started. And once I, I get somewhere, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, I should have never turned the camera off. First thing I tried was uh, use one of these little deals. It almost looked like a, a guitar pick, but it's thicker. But it looks much like a guitar pick. First thing I tried was just sticking this right into the corner. And it started opening. So I just popped it back on so I could turn the camera back on. And see if I can just do this kind of in real time here. Just looking around this right here 
it's clearly the battery this big part and it looks like I have these wires coming from here I'm pretty sure this goes under this kind of tape and goes into the battery so this is where the battery is actually uh, plugged into the uh, tablet so let's see what we can do to get this unplugged so just right here all I have to do is just pry up. I kind of push it back down so I can get a better in focus shot. But I just, just pry it up. I had to pry up here in there and just came straight up. So now my battery is no longer connected to this tablet. Hopefully this is a nice quick fix. Let me go ahead and put this all back together. So now my battery is connected to the tablet again. Hold down the power. Okay, well, was not that simple. After unplugging the battery, it wasn't doing anything for me. Unplugged it, waited for 30 seconds, waited for five minutes, plugged it back in, didn't do anything. Then, I don't know why I got the idea, but I actually peeled back this, this little material here and unplugged this. This looks like some kind of ribbon that kind of, it almost seems like it's got two circuit boards and that kind of carries stuff over from one side to the other, it looks like to me. Um, when I pulled this back, I'm not sure I unplugged it by pulling it back, but it definitely was not unplugged in. It wasn't plugged in. And when I uh, plugged it back in, held the button down, and uh, it started doing the little spin animation that we just saw. And this thing is back. It is back to working. So this is what I think actually happened. I think by my son dropping this thing, I think he somehow popped this out. And when he popped that out, it couldn't take the input. It couldn't talk to one side of the motherboard. This is clearly the brains of it. And it looks like there's some heat sink stuff here. And it looks like uh, some copper on here as well to kind of help dissipate the heat. So definitely processor and stuff over here, but there's probably some input things over here. So something wasn't working from the input side to the processing side when that was not down all the way. If your tablet is not powering up, doesn't seem to re be responding to charging, not doing any of those things, don't do this first. What you should do first is to hold down your power button for 30 seconds to a minute and to see if you would turn it off, hold it down 30 seconds to a minute to turn it on. From the research I've done, for most people, that takes care of it. It just gets in some kind of little funky deal, but holding it down for 30 seconds will work. Obviously, I tried all that before I got to here. So if you're like me, you try the 30 second deal, hold down the button. That doesn't get you anywhere. Go ahead and open it up. Like I said, something like this, but you know, any kind of pry tool will probably work, but this is a really sturdy pry tool. Pop all the four corners first. So you end up putting a, so you won't end up putting a small crack like I did. So pop all four corners. First, I would try unplugging the power, leave the power off for five minutes. Sure, it doesn't need five minutes, but just let's just be safe overkill. Leave it off for five minutes. Try that. If that doesn't work, maybe take a look at this. I think uh, impact will make this come off. Now, I'm even seeing uh, here, it's like a little spongy material that would be covering that up. And that's probably to help hold that in. So maybe. Um, these were known to kind of come off and, uh, you know, who makes this Asus, uh, maybe put this in and kind of help hold it down. But maybe sometimes if the impact is great enough, it'll still pop off. So I think this is probably a little bit more rare occasion, but, uh, that definitely fixed it. I mean, this thing's working like a champ at this point. No problem. I mean, it turns right on without a hesitation and... It's, it's, it's doing its thing. 
So that's all I've got. If this helps you, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any more questions, ask the questions in the comment section.